Hello, today I would like to show you this quite interesting device that you can operate on a camping vehicle. This is a Miko MK375. It is a transformer, a 12 volt power supply with a built in automatic priority transfer switch. I'm not entirely sure if you can call this energy block and that's because it does not have a charger which make it a very good and I'm going to show you that in a second. But this is a power supply with a priority transfer switch. Let's imagine a use case for that device. So you are driving in your caravana, in your camper and you are powering all your equipment or your lightning from the alternator and it is great, it is cool but just imagine that you go into a camping field or even in your own backyard you park your car, you turn the ignition off and you are now draining your main battery you could grab a power cord, you can grab a charger, hook it up to the battery and you can recharge your battery while using it, which is a terrible idea. Or you can grab a power supply and you can disconnect your devices that are using on DC and you can plug them into the DC charger and use it that way so you are not going to be touching battery. This device make it automated, make it extremely easy and extremely nice. This is basically just a transformer. It is extremely heavy. I've got problem lifting it. On back we've got a heat sink, but it's not that cool. And I'm going to tell you that in seconds. Here you can see the spec, 12 volt DC, 240 watts. So for a linear transformer, this is a crazy amount of power but we've got a second winding with a second system that is going to give you a 24 watts, but they are going to be uh, stabilized. On front, we've got the main power switch. We've got fuses that are protecting those blocks. As you can see, they are nicely divided. We've got separated two amp protected output here. Those are common negative and here is terminal for attaching the battery. All those ports are tied together so you can plug multiple devices, all your bulb, all your lightnings, all your cigarette lighter outputs and you can grab a separated wire but they are vertically tied together and the negative those two blocks are also tie together just like you can see so no matter which one they are going to have the same potential then you've got the input cable for your AC so let me give you a tiny training how to operate this device and why it is great so this is a military battery and we are going to be using this as a experiment that's why this device is great because it doesn't have a charger it's got just a relay that is going to be transferring the output and you can basically plug any battery you want you grab your positive wire and we are connecting it here to send more amp you multiply those connectors you put a uh, more wires and I'm going to plug it into the positive. Those terminals are tied together, so it doesn't matter if I'm going to connect it here, here, or there. They are got carrying exactly the same potential. This is our battery negative. And as soon as I'm going to plug it in, you can see that we've got a power. And now our device is fully operational and it's routing those outputs from a military battery. So if we grab a multimeter, now if I'm going to grab my multimeter, I'm going to touch any of the negative and we are going to see the battery voltage on all 
those pins, as you can see, they are just being routed. Just like that. This battery is being routed through those wires into those pins. I've got my halogen lamp over here. The negative goes into any negative terminal. Absolutely doesn't matter. And the positive, if I'm interested in a stabilized 2 amp port, then I'm going to use this. But I'm interested in those high current ports. I'm going to plug it in. And as you can see, it's working very nicely. And we are powering that from the battery. So if I pull one pin, then everything is turning off. So this is how it works. I add that clamp meter that is showing us power flowing from the battery into the unit. From the output, it go into the halogen lamp. And now the magic, because I'm going to grab the plug and connect it into regular AC socket. And something happened. You should be able to be here a click. And what's happened here? What's happened here? We are not pulling power from the battery, but the lamp is still working. And this is the real magic. Now the halogen lamp is being powered from the power supply. So you park your caravana, you plug it to the AC power, and all your equipment is magically being switched to the power supply. And now the power supply is doing all the work and your battery is not draining. You can think of that like on a simple UPS. So let me unplug it. I'm just pulling the plug and everything is working. We are pulling power from the battery. All your equipment is being powered from the battery. I plug it, rely click, battery disconnected. We are using the transformer. Just like that. You can do exactly the same without unplugging it by switching that switch. And as you can see, we are using the battery. We are using transformer. The latch time is so small that you are not going to notice it. So it is a absolutely amazing piece of equipment. Let's take a look at the stabilized port and not stabilized because it is pretty important. So I'm going to grab my oscilloscope. I hook up my oscilloscope to the output, negative go to the common ground. And let's take a look at the oscilloscope, what's happening. So this is how it looks the not stabilized. As you can see, you've got a peak to peak of 21 volts. And I'm going to switch it to the stabilized section. I'm going like this. And now you can see a nicely stabilized 12 volts. And I go back. This is the not stabilized just through a diode. And this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to unplug the AC and it's going to be transferred to the battery and you are going to see a nice and steady voltage. We are running from the battery. We go back into the AC transformer. Of course, that's only matter for a sensitive equipment. When you've got like a halogen bulb, it absolutely does not matter. I've got my true RMS meter. I grab the negative and connect it to the block and any of those ports are going to read a correct almost 13 volts, which is okay. So as you can see, everything is working fine. And the stabilized output, as you can see, it is reading a little bit lower, but perfectly okay for a 12 volt range. So this is how you connecting your Miko MK375 to be working with the battery, with a main AC. You was able to see how it's transferring, how it prioritizes the AC over DC. And as you can see, 
it's working really great. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.